Good morning traders, this is Anka Metcalf with TradeOutloud.com and welcome to my pre-market game plan for the major future indices gold and oil for today Tuesday. It is November 29th and it is 9.15 a.m. Eastern Time. So what we have today in uh, ES uh, is that we have uh, came in yesterday and these are the parameters that we spoke about in yesterday's pre-market game plan. So we came in and tested the 2198 area. We still have room to move lower into the 2194 and 2192 and these are alternate support areas. But what happened overnight is that at 1 a.m. Eastern time, um, the ES popped higher and it was the price was sent into this prior congestion, not quite taking out the prior high that we had established in the New York session. And sta the price stabilized throughout um, several hours until approximately 8 a.m. when it kicked in the sell, sending back price to the uh, former support area at uh, $21.99. Uh, even um, right here, we still have room into the 2198. So now we're getting a little bit extended on the hourly chart since we have uh, two hours of selling. So the bears were in control in the last two hours. So uh, this is going to be the line of the sand. The 2199 area is going to be the line in the sand. If we breach this area, careful, there's going to be a cushion area between 2199 and 21. 97.50 and this is going to be a little bit difficult to trade in terms of uh, if we get a hard sell into the 2197 area we might see a turnaround into this point the turnaround this point because of the descending tops that we have here on the early chart might not be uh, might not be viable or they might be viable so it's going to be a very very hard decision uh, needless to say that I will be looking and focusing on the two minute chart uh, from the open and uh, my area to short will be uh, 2197 or I'm going to look to short it over the 2200 area if we pivot along this area since we have these descending tops targets. Uh, like I've mentioned, um, if we get a break of 2197, obviously I'm going to go for 2196, 2194 and 2192 for ES. Let's take a look at YM, and uh, YM also holding a little stronger than ES. We had a pop uh, right here into the Asian, Asian session at 2 a.m., send the price screaming higher into 4 a.m., really nice pop, uh, 18, 19, 121 for um resistance right into this prior congestion area that we have established last week uh correction to the downside uh sitting on support 19075 and i think that it might be possible that we get a price stabilization in this area so if we hold this area and again we're talking about a cushion area since we have two support levels that are very close one to an, uh one to another uh, and we're speaking about uh the 74 and the 61 area right here so this is going to be the cushion area uh if we break above below uh, below this area there's an alternate support at 44 so here's the game plan it's going to be very cautious uh morning and just like yesterday, so remember yesterday what I said is that it's, we're probably going to experience a very, very choppy market. It's going to be a Monday calibration type of thing after uh, the holiday. Uh, so right now, as long as price is going to hold this area, the 70 area, around the 70 area, 70 to 80 area, we might find a turnaround point here um, and uh, with a possible entry with a projection to 19100, 19120, uh, and even we're we'll going to try to challenge the 19140 area. If we uh, consolidate lower, so because we did have a full cone retracement right here, so if we consolidate lower into the uh, 19060 area, um, we might head lower. However, we have we're coming from uh, one, two, three, four, five hours of selling. The bears are definitely in control here. Uh, we have a neutral day uh, in terms of respecting the parameters of the daily chart. So. It's going to be very tough. So we're probably going to have a range day until we break below or we break above. So be very cautious here. Um, I would say um, I would look to go long over 90, 19090. And targets are going to be 100, 120, and maybe 140. If we consolidate lower, I would like it to flurry down, get a pullback. And this probably is not going to happen very close to the open. Uh, but the pullback would be shortable 
uh, in YM, but only for very, very small targets. So I'm going to look for targets into 60, 40, 20, and the whole number right here, going back into 980 right here. All right, so uh, let's move on to NQ. Uh, NQ, uh, yesterday's price action sent it higher into these prior highs, very close to 48 uh, 80 area came sharply right in test the support right here. So we're into this range So we, you could see clearly that the parameters are uh, 4850 so this is support right here between 4850 and 4880 uh, This is a very sloppy range. You could see it on the daily chart It has been ranging for the last four to five days within these parameters um, and uh, I think that a confirmation for a long would be uh, at the support level right here at 57, even 60 area, a small target into 70, uh, or um, it, it's going to be very, very tough shorting because we're still in an uptrend on this one. And even on YM and ES, very, very tough shorting areas. But if we breach this area, if we breach the 55 area, you can look for a continuation into 50 and 45. It's going to be very, very tough. It's going to be very choppy on, the, on its way down. So you have to uh, compute the open into this equation and see what the open um, is bringing you and pay close attention to uh, the morning trigger times. Uh, GC, um, and this is uh, this is gold. Uh, it's weakening uh, again, and we talked about this um, yesterday. When we came from a new contract on Sunday, um, uh, testing this resistance area at 1200 and trying to make uh, descending tops right here, uh, it's uh, looking bearish if you're looking on the daily chart. It just triggered the daily sell, however, still into this very sloppy wide range right here. So um, the parameters for this morning uh, are going to be support at eight uh, at eleven eighty two point fifty. And the resistance that is set at 1186.30. If we break above uh, this uh, resistance, we're going to go higher. And if we break below the support level that I've mentioned, the 1182.50, we may continue lower into 180, uh, into 77, 75, and even into the 70 area. Last but not least, CL. And uh, CL right here, uh, a sharp turn around to the downside, bear sandwich on the daily chart. We're trading within very tight parameters. Careful, oil numbers coming in today, 4.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, here are the day trading parameters, 45.50. If it breaks that, we're going to go higher into 46, 46.50 and perhaps 47. Uh, if we break below $45.15, we're going to revisit the 45 level, uh, f even 44 level. So uh, pay very close attention to the 44.78 level as this is going to encounter some, uh, some of the issues. This is all for today. Thank you for joining. Remember, uh, follow me on Twitter. Uh, Twitter.com slash Anka Metcalf. We are testing our signal service and uh, we're testing the delivery of our signals uh, and we will be posting one or two trades a day. Um, and uh, all you have to do is follow. It's free to follow. It's going to be for the whole month until we officially begin our signal service. And this is actually a good test for those of you that would like to join the program and would like to test the program. Um, this will give you a glimpse into a glimpse into the program. So this is a whole month that you can experience some of the signals, day trades, and swing trades uh, as well as yesterday we had slash TF. Uh, and this is uh, the Russell 2000 mini index. We have it as a swing trade. It's working out beautifully. And we're up over $1,200 in this trade with one contract. So... If you like to follow us, remember the Twitter handle where everything will be posted until the signal service officially starts is going to be twitter.com slash oncometcat. Feel free to join and take advantage of some free trades that I will be posting. And obviously I will be taking. Remember that we're going to have the last trading class of the year. It's going to be on November 10th. And it's going to come with a special offer of one month of signal service starting January 9th. So December 10th through December 16th, two comprehensive education classes on the 10th and 11th from 9 a.m. Eastern Time till 4 p.m. Eastern Time. And then Trading Lab, where we put everything together and you'll get to trade 
uh, beside uh, beside myself, uh, and that is a five day trading lab from the 12th to the 16th from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. Eastern Time. Thank you so much for joining. I hope to see you tomorrow morning, and I hope you all have a very profitable trading day.